think he has the same opportunity with President Rouhani of Iran that Ronald Reagan, who I had the privilege of working for, with Gorbachev. Mm -hmm. You know, when Reagan started negotiating with Gorbachev, a lot of right-wing Republicans called him Neville Chamberlain. Yeah. and said, well, he's going to be succeeded by a Stalinist. This is, you know, just yeah. all a ruse and, 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 and everything like that. And I think, you know, Obama has this uh, opportunity, and he's got a great Secretary of State. You know, this is it for President Obama and John Kerry. John Kerry was born, in my view, to be Secretary of State. As we saw in the 2004 campaign, not a great <laughs> politician. But he wants to make a mark on history, and I think we have to take this opportunity. And you have a chance, I think, not only to deal with the nuclear question, but the Syria question, yeah. because Iran is also involved there. And I think when Assad used the chemical weapons, that did not go over well in Iran because Saddam used them against them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think you have a lot of things uh, coming together. And as you mentioned, you know, early about, uh, you know, uh, back in uh, 2001, remember after the attacks of 9-11, they had candlelight vigils yeah. in Tehran. Yeah. Yeah. And the Iranians at the Bond Conference persuaded the Northern Alliance to support Karzai. We wouldn't have had anything in Afghanistan. Then, of course, Bush put them on the axis of evil, which I will never understand yeah, because they yeah. had been very, 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 very helpful. So I think you have one of these moments where everything's coming together. And, you know, people say, well, you know, uh, can we trust them and all that? Let me tell you something. They already know how to make the nuclear weapons up here. Okay. You're never going to undo okay. that. So, yes, you can do and, and, and stop them in terms of, you know, more inspections and things like that. But my personal view is they want to know that at some point they can do it if they have to. Mm -hmm. And in my view, they, you know, as General Cartwright mentioned once, he was a former vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It's already up here. You know, mm -hmm. they got the scientists. Yeah. So you can't undo that. But I, I, I do think you, you can. And, you know, the thing you... People, when you deal with international politics, need to remember Sir Harold Nicholson, you know, the British sure. man who negotiated uh, at the Versailles Conference. Mm -hmm. Nations don't have permanent friends or enemies. They have permanent interests. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, the Iranians are very practical. You know, if I can give you an incident of my own past when I was up here in New York, we were talking at lunch about the late Arthur Helton. He came to me one day and said, the Iranian ambassador to the UN wants us to come over for dinner. This is right after the attacks of 2001 to talk about Afghanistan. So we went over mm -hmm. and he told us, we're willing to help you. They didn't like the narcotics. They, you know, they, they didn't like that incivility, didn't like the Taliban. Make sure your government knows. We conveyed that message to the folks uh, in, uh, in Washington. They have common interests with us. They don't want to see an unstable Afghanistan, okay? And, and basically, yes, we can do it. And, and in the same way, if you're taking, you know, the, we try with Iraq, a lot of countries don't want to see that become unstable either. So you need to uh, work together. In Afghanistan, you know, our ability, is to, uh, our ability to influence events there is declining. But the other powers who surround it all have an interest. The Soviet, or I mean, the, the Russia and China, India, all have an interest. Yeah.